We do a ton of events. Yeah. We do a ton of events. Everybody gets to geek out. People find their inner wine nerds here. People are seeing what we're doing and that we're this really great welcoming space for everyone. And that's just really heartwarming and, and amazing. It's really nice to be recognized. Decant San Francisco opened in 2019. We opened as a bottle shop and a bar. And we are really sort of a community center here in Soma. There is no pretension here. We drink good wine and we want you to drink good wine too. Our sort of motto that we live by is drink for yourself. This idea of drink for yourself is just, okay, how do we provide you, our guests, with tools and knowledge so that you can start to identify the things you love and when you walk into a restaurant or you walk into Decan SF or any bottle shop, you can effectively tell the folks on the other end, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Every time I see somebody communicate about wine with confidence after they've been in here, I feel really happy because that means we're doing our jobs properly. So we blind taste everything that we bring in and blind tasting helps us to really evaluate what's in the glass for what it is, not just the label on the bottle or who it's made by, but really does this taste how it should? Is this indicative of what this grape is typically like from this region? Because for us, education is really important. And so any glass that you have here, we're gonna be able to teach you something about wine through what is in your glass. Everything that's on the shelves is coming from sustainably produced vineyard sites. It's mostly family independently owned businesses, so small wineries from all over the world. There's a story behind every bottle and we want you to drink quality and sustainably. We hold a lot of educational events here and we have a great series called School of Decant, focusing in on a topic almost like classroom or lecture style. So we might be tasting six, seven, eight wines sometimes from a particular region or from a particular winemaker. And maybe we'll have that importer here or the winemaker here to help us teach the class. And so if you really wanna learn about something, those are great opportunities to come and, and be a student. We also do a lot of pop-ups with local chefs, local artists. We even recently started taking people to wine country to show them sort of the insider sommelier's view of wine country that a non-wine professional is not going to experience. And that can be walking through the vineyards with a winemaker, doing a sit down, having a vertical tasting with a winemaker. That's a really powerful experience that suddenly allows people to really click and connect with what's in the glass. And that's, that's really fun for us to be able to do. I really find it rewarding when one of our clients goes on vacation and they're like, we were able to order wine off the menu without asking for help. Or we went to Austria and we knew all about Austrian wine because we went to your class. And that's something that's like, we actually made like a tangible sort of difference yeah. um, in helping people. Receiving the LGBTQ Venue of the Year Award was a really nice surprise. Having queer businesses, having spaces that reflect diverse values, whether you're queer or not, it's going to create a more rich environment, a more rich city in all different ways. So supporting queer-owned businesses is just helping your community become more culturally important, culturally significant, and really giving people a space to belong.